Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today we are going to analyze and design of an isolated sloped footing of a five story residential building using advanced stat foundation. So at first open stat pro, click on open project select the project you want to design the foundation go to style reader delete the finish and platform analysis and click on save now we have to analyze the building Finishing, after finishing the analysis, we go to the foundation part. Of course, if there is no error, there is no warning. Warning is for the reanalysis of the building. Okay. Now, go to foundation design. Select the load, not the combination load. And click on include. Now select add on stat foundation and past. Now there are the columns. You can fill the values. <coughs> Sorry, fill the data, the project ID, title, client name, phone number, etc. Just input the date, job name, who else checked the design. You can select the color code and the scale option. After finishing all that, go to loads and factor. Select generate load combination. Load combination TV is Indian it is the service load combination and it is the ultimate load combination. For service load combination, click on generate load combination. Okay, and for ultimate load combination, click on generate load combination. Okay, close it. Now we have to create the job. For go to job setup, click on create a new job. Give a job name isolated sloped putting design job type isolated design code for me it is Indian assigned to all support. These are the available load cases. I am going to select the combination load cases which it previously generated and select. Now click on create job. You can see the left side isolated footing job has been created. These are the design parameters. You have to input the values. First, concrete and reinforcement. Unit weight of concrete 25. Okay, minimum bar spacing 50. Maximum bar spacing 250. Strength of concrete 20. 
you can change the value of course minimum footing bar size 12 maximum footing bar size 25 similarly for the pedestal you can set the value as a default okay now for finishing that go to cover and soil you can see there are the two types of soil drain condition and undrained condition drain condition is when water is able to flow into or out of a mass of soil in the other hand undrained condition is when water is not able to flow into the soil now for me it is drain condition it is still covered 50 bottom clear cover 50 unit weight of soil 80s very 11 to 18 generally and we'll select 18 soil bearing capacity 100 okay depth of soil above footing 100 and 1500 millimeter or 1.5 meter type of depth putting depth you can fix the top and extend to the bottom or you can fix the bottom of the foundation and extend to the top and we to fix the top and minimum percent of contact area is the length and breadth multiply of the length and breadth is the minimum percent contact area then go to um, footing geometry footing type is uniform thickness slope it is sloped design type you can see the five types here calculation calculate dimension means you can calculate then the program will calculate the footing dimension for each support given range of values for length, width and thickness set dimension you can set the dimension manually fixed width fixed width for if we have any problem for boundary problem or any other fixed width will help you to fix the width and increase in the length and thickness. Similarly, fixed length is just fixed the foundation putting length and increase on the width and thickness. Fixed offset means the eccentric footing. Now we will select calculate dimension. And the minimum slope in thickness I'm going to give 250. Now I'm go to sliding and overturning coefficient of friction factor safety against sliding factor safety against overturning. You can change the value. After finishing all that, go to design. Yes. Now, isolated footing design according to IS 456 2000 has been completed. Design for let's see. These are the calculation for all the footing. You can Print the calculation sheet if you want, and the section is uncracked.
Okay. Go to GHI to see the layer of the footing. <coughs> you can see the foundation is overlapping with one and all. Now, if you have this kind of problem, you might go to the combination footing for this type of footing. You can save the drawing as AutoCAD file. Go to Detail and Schedule Drawing. There is a schedule for all the footings, length, breadth, and depth, and the reinforcement. Okay. You can see the detailed drawing also. In this side, top is 12 millimeter high and bottom is the bottom diameter 12 now 12 millimeter high. In this side, top reinforcement is 20 now 12 millimeter diameter and bottom is 21 now number of 12 millimeter diameter. You can see the foundation here, slope foundation. You can output the schedule and calculation into Excel sheet by clicking detail output. Save and name isolated slope footing. Let's open it. You can see the putting number one. Here is the calculation sheets and the reinforcement. Here is a reinforcement. Okay, so this is how you can design a sloped isolated footing. Okay, if you have any problem, comment on the video or mail me. I will get back to you soon.